The LG G2 got announced today and it includes some creepy choir music. The Android device manager goes live for your tracking pleasures. And Samsung develops a 384GB storage chip. I'm Jaime Rivera. And trust me, judging by the explicit libraries of certain people, 384 gigs may not cut it. This is Pocket Now Daily. Okay, so everything today is about product releases. Google has finally unwrapped their Android device manager, meaning you can track your lost or stolen phone, make it ring or wipe it if something goes wrong. It's finally awesome to have this functionality in Android for free. It's being offered in the past by other third-party solutions, and it's just great to have this feature as of now. Make sure you get it. Now, interesting, Microsoft has just launched their new Bing app suite for Windows Phone. I know, it took them so long. You get news, you get sports, you get stocks, which is called finances, among other things. And again, it begs to wonder why did Microsoft leave this three years later and not launch it from the beginning? Still, it's always great to have new apps and new services on the platform. And speaking of other products, you know that we're just a couple of weeks away from BBM going cross-platform to iOS and Android. And as a result, WhatsApp, which is pretty much the biggest cross-platform messaging service out there, has just announced that they have 300 million users and they're celebrating by offering this new voice-to-voice -voice messaging service, which is close to like push to talk. Uh, they now have this button that's dedicated for it. In the past, they had sort of the same voice recording thing, but now it's a little easier to use, sadly, not as good as push to talk. And again, BBM will probably reach the other platforms soon, and it just begs to wonder, I mean, what messaging service do you use? WhatsApp is my favorite, what is your favorite? And I told you, keeping up with product announcements, Samsung has just announced that they've developed this new vertical 3D NAND flash memory chip, and I think I got that whole name right. The point being is that there will be now a limit of 384 gigabytes of storage on a mobile flash chip. That's how much you'll theoretically be able to have in the next couple of probably months or years. We're not sure how long Samsung's gonna take to deploy this, uh, but obviously it doesn't mean that you're gonna get this now. Obviously, it means that the current peak that exists is going to keep growing and growing, and hopefully phones are going to become cheaper and cheaper as memory becomes cheaper as well. And finally for the, well, you know, it's hot and it's also not so hot news of the day. LG has just announced their G2 um, and probably one of the most boring events that we've ever seen so far. You thought that the whole tap dancing thing from the Galaxy S4 was gimmicky? Well, try choir music on your event because that's pretty much what you got in the event and that's what you're going to get in ringtones in this phone. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very beautiful phone, very beautifully designed thing. I mean, the specs are awesome. It's Probably one of the most powerful smartphones right now in the market or when it gets launched. But then again, the problem is that it's built by LG and even though LG does make some good hardware, sadly, their software implementation is not the best. So again, we're going to test this phone. It's going to reach our Pocket Air Labs very soon for review. We'll keep you posted, but that leads me to the question of the day. After everything you saw today with our hands-on videos and everything, link down below for that, uh, let me know. I mean, what did you think about this G2? Is this a phone that you would want? In my particular case, honestly, again, I love this design. I love the phone, but I'd wait for our reviewers to tell us if this phone is really worth your money. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.